Okay, so let's create the world. Um, first of all, when you think of a name, I think I'm gonna name it after an island from a movie that I've watched. First of all, set it to hardcore as well and generate the world. Okay, let's just hope we have a good spawn. And let's see, come on, please be something good. Not a desert biome. Okay, nice, a spruce biome. That's good, that's good. Okay, let's first of all get full stone tools. And we can turn that into stone tools. I think we found some sweet berries, but I don't know how good of a food source they are. Let's just take some with us for now. Oh yes, finally the first animal. Two sheep, in fact. Okay, nice. We should be able to make a bed quite soon then. We should probably also collect as much coal as possible so that we can smelt food later on. You know what, I think I'm gonna head back up since I can't find any iron and that's the main thing I'd really want from this cave. Oh wait, I'd, I'd missed a piece of iron. Okay, now we have a lot bigger chance of surviving against mobs and it's already turning that time so we really need to find a sheep. Oh no, a creeper. Okay, I think all the mobs have already been despawned, at least all the sheep. So I guess that means we're just gonna go mining now. Okay, is this a cave? Hopefully it is. Okay, yes, we find a cave and diamonds instantly. Okay, this is very good. Okay, luckily it wasn't just one. And a mob spawner over there. Yes, the luck is finally kicked in. Okay, let's see if there's anything good in the spawner. Okay, it's a spider spawner and what on earth it happened to this chest? Why does it look bugged? Okay, knock back two books, some gunpowder. Okay, nothing too interesting. Okay, let's just destroy the spawner for the XP. And we can carry on looking for some diamonds. We might as well take some of these glow berries since we're low on food anyways. Oh my god. We were literally on two hearts, okay. I am not messing around anymore. I definitely need to smelt this iron and make myself a chest plate. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a diamond pickaxe now. And once this iron is smelted, I'm gonna make myself a chest plate and head back to the surface because I definitely need better food. Oh wait, we found some more diamonds. And it seems like the cave does actually extend. Oh, I'm getting way too distracted. I should definitely be getting food, but it's too tempting. Wait, no way, there's even more diamonds. My luck is way too good right now, and it's another gigantic vein. It's at least eight diamonds again. How is this even possible? Okay, I think we found all the diamonds the cave has to offer, so we can just focus on getting food now. Okay, we just need one more piece of string and then we can make a last piece of wool to make a bed. Oh, never mind, we found a sheep. This is our first big chance of finding a village. Oh, okay, yes, there's a village, nice. Now we should quickly loot all the houses. Okay, nothing too important. But I've noticed that I have no inventory space, which means I should set up a little base, or at least a place where I can store my items. Okay, I have no idea what's going on with my chests. I should also try and trap all of the villagers in a place so that they don't get killed at night time by the zombies. I think this should do for now. Now we just have to try and trap all of the villagers inside there. That's one and two. Now we need to make sure we close this off so that they don't die. Now we can try and get the last few pieces of diamond armor and tools. Yes, diamonds. Okay, hopefully it's not just two. We need three. Yes, it's three. Okay, we can technically get full diamond now, but I also want to get 
the rest of the tools. So I just need a sword, which means I just need a few more diamonds. I just need more sugarcane. Leather shouldn't be a problem to get. Right. Okay, sorry guys, just need a leather. Then I decided to get obsidian so that I can make an enchantment table and a nether portal. Oh wait, yes, lava pool. Finally, now begins the long journey of mining obsidian. Okay, that's all the obby we need. That's eight bookshelves. Uh, efficiency two, not too bad, I guess. What? Oh, 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 what is that? No, 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 this is not good. What was that? No, first of all, that freaking lava comes out of nowhere. And then these guys. Look at the gerbils, it just vanishes in like half a millisecond. It's too early. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get back, get mending then, then just enchant speak. The, the price, oh, yes, mending, but for 18. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm not complaining, it's a decent price. Um, so, thank you. Finally, last bookshelf down. Efficiency 4. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chuck mending on it. Now we can head to the nether with mending. I'm just gonna go in this direction, why not? Oh wait, ancient debris instantly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First pieces of ancient debris in the series, let's go. I spent the next few days mining quartz and ancient debris. And for some reason my luck was really insane and I got over 30 pieces of ancient debris in total. This took me only about 4 in-game days. Okay, now we just need to get it to level 39 and then we can head back. Okay, now we can make our way back to the base. That took absolutely forever, but at least we got some extra ancient debris and XP. Now I can start smelting all of the ancient debris, and I can enchant my armor. Okay, protection 4, that's good. And oh my god, no way. I think that's like nearly perfect enchants. Okay, that was really lucky. Efficiency 4, not the greatest, but it's okay. Let's collect this ancient debris to get the XP, and we should hopefully get back up to level 30. Okay, it wasn't quite enough. Now we can try and get some mending books. Now I can put mending on my helmet and chest plate. And I just realized I should have used that XP to get level 30 enchant. But anyways, let's turn these netherite scraps into netherite ingots, make a smithing table, and turn these pieces of diamond armor into netherite. Now I can go back to the nether and get a little bit more XP. And no way, there's a bastion right here at spawn. I think we're gonna loot that once we have full netherite. And no, wait, no way. How is our piece of ancient debris this high up? And we now have full netherite. Now I can try and loot this bastion here. OK, 
Okay, let's hope no piglins see us while we take their gold. Probably gonna use this gold to make gaps. And I'm gonna try and look for some chests now. Okay, now I need to actually be careful because I can hear them everywhere. Okay, I think it's safe to go up now and try and loot these chests here. Okay, uh, ancient debris, some arrows, let's take that. And another, a diamond pick, okay, that's nice. Oh, wait a second, no way. There's a warp forest right next to this bastion, which means we can get all of our enderpearls right now. Okay, and there's another bastion, wow. Let's just pearl over there. It's not what I was looking for, but it's also okay. And now we have all the pearls I need. And wait, there's a literally a nether fortress right here, no way. I've found two bastions now and a fortress. I don't know why my luck is this good. Let's first of all loot this bastion and then I can get the blaze rods I need. Okay, now I can loot this nether fortress. Okay, we found the blaze spawner, which means we can just camp here and get our blaze rods. Now we can head back, create the required eyes of ender, go to sleep, make some firework rockets, and now I can start making my way to the end portal. So let's see where this first eye points us. Okay, we have to go in this direction. And even if some of them would break, we still have five extra. Oh wait, the ender portal. Wait, the Eye of Ender just turned backwards, which means we might have already passed it. Is it around here? Let's see. Maybe it's in the ocean somewhere. Okay, let's throw the eye one more time. Okay, it must be somewhere around here. 100% sure now. So yeah, let's just dig straight down then, I guess. Yeah, this can't be the right cave, since I don't see a stronghold anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna try and throw the eye one more time. Maybe I just didn't mine down in the right area. Let's try here. And yes, we found the stronghold, finally. Okay, well, that was easy. But before I actually enter the end, I want to get some bookshelves from the bookshelf room. Okay, let's just take maybe a stack or two. Now I can place the eyes of Ender in the portal frames and we can enter the end. Okay, so this isn't the most ideal spawn since we can just get knocked right off. So let's try and destroy all the crystals first of all. And I think that is the last crystal right there. Now we can just focus on getting the Ender Dragon down. Wait, I actually just bowed him to death. We want to make sure we don't go through the end portal straight away. Since we want to go to the end islands, that's what we want to do. Okay, this is going to give me a crazy amount of XP. Okay, now we should collect the dragon egg. And now we can go through the end gateway. Okay, we've made it to the end islands and now we can just pretty much look for end city. Now this is probably the most dangerous part of the series so far since we don't have an elytra and the void is pretty much uh, guaranteed death. So let's just try and pull. What was that? I think that bug just saved my whole entire hardcore world there. Oh my god. Okay, from now on we're just bridging. And now I can carefully bridge across these end islands. Wait a second. I have a feeling nothing can go wrong here, right? Just pearl across there. Guys, it's over. 
But if you really think that's going to stop me from making cool videos on YouTube, then you're wrong. I still have so much planned and I'm really looking forward to making more content for you guys. I'm going to be making the future videos in a survival world I've already started and I already have big plans for the world. So subscribe and check out my new videos if you want to see that happen. And with that, I would like to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you have a nice day.